So I've just rocked up here to uh, Concept Canopies and we're at the next stage of the build of the 79. Now, first of all, before we get into the canopy part of it, we're gonna have a look at the J-Max suspension because that is now 100% complete. I had a quick squiz of it and I'll tell you what, some pretty fancy looking gear swinging off the end of a, a 79. And remember, it's gone from a leaf spring now to a full coil conversion. Now, EFS have come through and they've put that full four inch of lift. Now, we've got to put a bit of weight in the truck, so that's going to settle down a little bit. But with some 35s on it, Simon's going to be really impressed when he sees this truck. So let's check out the J-Max first. Now, in the arse end of this truck, you've got a set of coils and you've got a set of shock absorbers. So we've got some heavy duty coils, the EFS coils, and some heavy duty big bore EFS shock absorbers. Now, I need a lot of travel because it is around that four inches of lift, and with the 35 inch tires, we're gonna get some serious, some serious ground clearance out of it. And that is the one thing that we're always looking for. When you get a bit of a load and a trailer on the back of your truck, you wanna be able to maintain that ground clearance. You don't want the, you know, the rear end of your truck sagging down and dragging through all the bush. So it's gonna be up there, it's gonna have some good ride height. The uh, sway bar, I was told, J-Max are telling me that the sway bar um, points go right out to the edge of where the wheels are. So with the standard leaf springs, you don't get that. That is, they're all sort of really narrow. So there's a good advantage to having the coil rear end. Look, personally myself, a coil will hold more weight than a leaf spring all day long. I know that's a big debate out there, but we have tested and proven that theory time and time again with the 200 series Land Cruisers. So I'm I'm, I'm keen, and I, and I know I won't be driving it, Simon's gonna be driving it, so we're gonna to have to ask his opinion on it, but I'm keen to see how the coil handles all the weight, and if it's anything like the 200, it'll do it well. Now, the canopy, as you can see, we've started on the canopy, so Concept Canopies are putting one of their, um, their full-size canopies on the back. I've put a bit of height in the canopy this time, because we've got a boat loader to go on top of that, we've got the LMAC boat loader, but it's got a bit of height in it, so Simon's got himself a bit of room, We've got the um, easy slide will go in here, and, but we'll see that as, that as that sort of comes together. But at the moment, it's all lined and, and you know, central locking's got to go in. So it's going to be a pretty sweet canopy. So another little feature that we've done on this truck as well is we've installed the clear view mirrors. Now, these, these have got to be the best mirrors on the market as far as I'm concerned. Like, Without them, it was almost like you were driving blind. You got that sort of feature in it so that if you're towing gear, you can slide them right out. They're fully adjustable, they're electric, so they use the same electrics that you have in your vehicle. And to fit the 79, you can see here, they've got this massive big frame. They're as tough as nails, so Simon's gonna be impressed about that one. 